Welcome to this how-to guide series brought to you by the Center for Innovation in Learning and Teaching at the University of Cape Town. If this presentation feels a little rough around the edges, it's because we're aiming to show what you can do in limited time with simple tools. That's because we believe in the everyday user using tools and resources that you have access to to make material that represents your world. So you may already be aware that the lessons tool in Vula allows for you to structure content and resources and tasks very um, and deliver these week by week or unit by unit. Um, what you might not be aware is that it also allows for a number of student interactions and some of these are very short um, interactions such as adding comments to a page, responding to a short question, an MCQ or short answer, um, or a lessons self-evaluation checklist. Some might be slightly longer engagements, such as student content, where students can create their own, their own pages, which could be used for portfolios or other types of assessment. And um, you can also integrate to other tools. So if you had already set up your assignments or your tests and quizzes, or forum, you can link to um, this through lessons. We won't be covering the last option, um, but this is also available through lessons and allows for interaction. So firstly, we have the comments tool on lessons. This is very quick to add to a lessons page. Um, it doesn't have ad very advanced features. For example, you can't allow for any email notifications so if you had <coughs> if you had um, more important questions that needed to be raised and you needed email notifications you could consist consider Vula test uh, questions and answers tool it does allow for grading um, as you can see in the screenshot you can appoint award points for a comment but if you have very large classes and you wanted more in-depth discussions, you should consider the forums tool in Vula. Secondly, we have adding a question. So you might have some content, for example, a video or a reading uh, that is in your lessons page. And then underneath that, you might want to ask a short question or an MCQ. Uh, this is a very quick option to add and allows for grading and you can add feedback for the an incorrect or correct response. You can also show poll which essentially allows for the students to compare themselves to the rest of the class um, and see what the rest of the class responded as. You could also disable this option if you prefer not to have that. The text uh, box does seem slightly small in the preview, but you can also resize that. So if you wanted to have a slightly longer answer, and it does also store all the results for all the students that respond to this. Um, but if you wanted a more formalized test, we'd, consider, uh, we'd highly recommend test and quizzes. Um, and if you'd want to reuse those, Test and Quizzes allows for question pools and um, importing and exporting. Lastly, we have the Add Student Content, which is very simple to add to your Vula sites. You can just go to the Add Content and Add Student Content option. And on every student's um, page, they will see an option to add, add their own page. Um, you can also set this up to work with groups. So if you wanted a group submission rather than a rather than an individual submission. 
For the individual submissions, there is an option to allow for peer evaluation. And you can set up a customized rubric for that. And this is an example of what you would see with the feedback from the peer evaluation. And you can obviously link it also to grading. If you're looking for more resources, you can find those at the UCT SALT website, which is brought to you by the Center for Innovation in Learning and Teaching. All of the images in this screencast are publicly available and freely reusable, so please feel free to reuse this screencast. Thanks so much for listening, and bye for now.